Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a little crochet and chat where I crochet while talking to you guys about a topic. And the topic that I chose for today is my favorite yarn store and why. So I have the camera a little bit lower today so that you guys can see what I'm working on without me having to hold it up here. So I'm going to work on one of my kitchen scrubbies. Um, the pattern is by Cute as a Button Crochet and Crafts. I'm making these for Christmas gifts. So um, this is something that I've memorized the pattern so it'll be easy for me to talk to you guys hopefully <laughs> while I work on this. And I'm just using my new clover hooks. Um, this is a 5.5 millimeter and I'm using Crafter Secret. Um, I think this is called Christmas print or something like that. I already have a couple rows going and I really love the Christmas colorway and I just ripped out a few of my stitches. Great. <laughs> so I am gonna um, get started on this and let's just go ahead and get into the topic. So um, Hobby Lobby is my favorite yarn store. You guys have probably heard me say that before. Um, and I've always loved Hobby Lobby, but it hasn't always been my go-to for yarn. So I started crocheting about 10 years ago. And when I first started crocheting, I went to Michael's quite a bit. Um, I felt like at the time, I think that they had the best prices and I could always find um, what I wanted there. And, um, yeah, I just tended to shop there more often. And probably part of that also was because they used to do the 50% um, off coupons. Now, I think they have brought that back. They did away with it for a little bit. But now they have the rewards program um, where you earn points and stuff. And then also you can get good coupons again. But... That's one reason why I always would go there. Um, but just over the years, I have come to really enjoy um, Hobby Lobby more. So the reasons why. So number one, I have them written down here on a little piece of paper so I don't forget. But um, the first reason that I really enjoy shopping at Hobby Lobby is because I, at least my store, um, and I think most stores probably are, but I find it to be very clean and very organized. So um, the yarn aisle is just, it's, a, it's pleasing to the eye to walk down. And um, I feel like they have everything sorted out well, you know, where they have put different types of yarn um, as far as like different weights of yarn and things like that. Now there, it's not like, one whole side of the aisle is weights one and two and one whole side is three and four but there is some good order to it um and also just it's it's just very very organized um you don't see yarn you know pieces of yarn like i have right here <laughs> hanging out you know down from the shelf i mean every once in a while you will but it's not the norm you know they really try to keep that area looking really nice and um so i have found that i just enjoy shopping there for the visual experience of it um and i also love that there is a wide variety so at least in my store and um of course i cannot speak for every hobby lobby because i have only been to a few but i would say that it's pretty similar across the board um i have heard that you know, places like Joanne, there seems to vary how much each store has. So my store only has like basically one aisle of yarn. So there is, um, you walk down and there's yarn on your left side of one of the aisles. And then the next aisle over, there's yarn on the right side of one of the aisles. <laughs> so literally only like one full aisle. Whereas I've heard other people on YouTube say that their Joanne has like three or four aisles full of yarn. So um, 
but I think Hobby Lobbies are pretty consistent. Let me know if I'm wrong and your Hobby Lobby has more or less, but um, there is two full aisles of yarn and they are pretty decently long aisles and as well as end caps. So I have an end cap of Crafter's Secret Cotton as well as an end cap of the Crafter's Secret Value Acrylic Yarn and then there's usually another end cap of some kind of maybe new-ish yarn or um, seasonal yarn or something like that. And then even sometimes there's like a display full of yarn. Uh, maybe if there's a particular kind that's for some reason on sale. So I feel like there's a wide variety and along with that I feel like there is a wide variety of not only just yarns but the fibers, different fibers, different weights, um, different price points. So you can walk into Hobby Lobby and you can find very affordable yarn. Um, the I love this yarn brand, you know, everything is going up in price, but um, the I love this yarn, like value acrylic is a very affordable and nice value yarn. Um, and then you have, you know, up to more high end yarns. Now, not the highest quality, but they do have that little section of hand dyed yarns um, that are in the uh, Hanks. And I haven't seen that really at Michael's or Joann's. Now, this is only big box stores that I'm talking about, not little yarn shops. Um, I've actually never been in a little yarn shop, so I need to find one near to me and, and venture in there. But um, anyway, yeah, I just think that there's such a wide variety of price points. You can go in and get a little bit of a higher quality yarn or a little bit of a more value, cheaper yarn that is still good quality. Like, for example, um, the Pearl Spun yarn that I hauled the other day. Uh, it's one of my new favorite yarns now. I have made a project with it that you guys will see on Thursday, but I'm very, very pleased with it. It is definitely one of my very favorite yarns, and it is only $3.99 for, I believe it was 150 yards, and for how nice it is, it's a low pill acrylic, it's a very nice yarn for that price, and, and that leads me into another point is that Hobby Lobby does 30% off every other week. So I love that you know what to expect every week. You don't have to go and search for when certain things are going to be on sale. Um, that is something like Joann's does have pretty good sales on specific yarns at times, but I feel like it's sort of different every single week and not every yarn is on sale and it just gets a little bit confusing. I really like that Hobby Lobby, there's no guesswork in it. You just know that it's going to be 30% off this week and not next week. And it's, well, I think <laughs> this week is not 30% off. Next week is, but you know what I mean. One week is 30% off. One is not um, every other week and it's all yarn. So it just makes it really, really simple and um, easy. You don't have to think through it. But um, what I was saying is with the, like with the pearl spun yarn, it's a very nice yarn, 150 yards. Um, is not a ton of yarn, but for how nice it is, I mean, you can definitely make a nice beanie, ear warmer, a couple ear warmers actually. Um, you know, you could make a scarf with probably two skeins. So, you know, it's a decent amount. And with a 30% off, um, it's around like, let's see, probably $3 and some change, or probably around $3 or a little under actually. Um, so that is a very good price point for a very nice yarn and I enjoy that a lot. And, and then there's other yarn that is more pricey like the, um, I would consider this a little more pricey because it is only 50 yards. This is the Yarn B Cotton XXL that I've talked about in love, but it is $5.49 for only 50 yards. So that is more pricey in my opinion. But again, with the 30% off, it is around $4 and some change, which is not terrible for, and it's a very nice quality. Um, and then of course, there's many, many other <laughs> um, higher priced items there. So I just love that there's a big variety. I mean, 
you can go in and get get any kind of quality yarn or fiber that you want to work with. And then another thing is I really love the Yarn Bee brand. Um, it is my favorite brand of yarn and I know that it is a Hobby Lobby exclusive brand um, owned by Hobby Lobby and I, I do love it a lot. I don't think I've tried a Yarn Bee yarn that I didn't enjoy and um, a lot of times they are comparable to other name brand yarns um you know they have like a velvet that's very similar to burnett velvet they have like a baby blanket type yarn like the burnett baby blanket um and so oh the crafter secret cotton so that one is a lot like peaches and cream or lily sugar and cream um, so a lot of comparable yarns to other name brands um, but i just really love that love that brand there's a very wide variety again of the yarn bee um brand so i do really enjoy that and then you can also find like lion brand yarn there um as well and then the next thing is they do their annual clearance sale every year so i actually never knew about this until this year how i did not know about it i don't know <laughs> i've been watching um youtube videos from crochet content creators for 10 years now i don't know how i never knew about this but at least i do now and i know that there are good clearance deals a lot of times at michael's um, as well as joann's but i have yet to find clearance as good as the annual clearance at hobby lobby um you know yarns that are normally pretty pricey are marked down to $2. Um, I think that it is like 70% off, I want to say. Um, I could be wrong. Let me know, guys. I'm sure you guys know the exact percentage off that the annual clearance sell is, but I know that it's amazing. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So, um, for example, this Yarn Bee Cotton DK was $4.99 regular price, and it was marked down to $1.24. So, it makes the yarn so affordable and um, cheaper than Dollar Tree. Now that Dollar Tree is $1.25, um, a lot of the yarns that I bought at the clearance sale this year were $0.99. Cents. Um, and then uh, I wasn't able to get any of the Crafter's Secret on sale, but if I would have, then that would have been like 40 something cents, I think. So I love that they do that annual clearance sale every year as well as... Um, they do the die lock clearance. So my store didn't have a lot of the die lock clearance this year, but they did have some. And so um, again, the same, it's the same prices uh, or the same amount off. The only thing is you can't get, you know, large quantities of specific yarns because it is only certain die lots. So, um, those are the reasons that I put down. Oh, one more. It is a Christian owned business. I am a Christian, so I do like to support Christian owned companies. And, um, I have heard though that the owner may be giving away Hobby Lobby. So those are the reasons that I wrote down. Um, I do have one con. So the one thing about Hobby Lobby that... I would consider a negative is that they um, only carry smaller quantities of each type of yarn. I think because they do have so many options and they want things to look neat and organized, they only keep like five or six um, skeins of specific colorways. So if you are making a very big project and say the skein only has a hundred yards in it, um, you're going to need more than five. Um, like if you're making a blanket or something. So that's a bummer. Um, especially because a lot of times there's different dye lots mixed in, in there. You know, it's not five of the same dye lot. It could be three of the same dye lot and two of another. So I have found that to be, um, a bummer. <laughs> uh, and also I did want to mention, you know, I, I will always love Michael's, but the last several times I've been in there, I have not been very pleased. Um, let me know what your all's thoughts are, but my, my Michael's has been very 
messy lately. Like, not the whole store, but the yarn aisle specifically. Um, I just feel like the yarn section is so messy and there's been a lot out of stock lately. Um, now, I haven't been in about a month, but so it could be better now. But it just seems so messy. And it, I'm still, I keep pointing to this, but like, I don't know why, but I just can't stand stuff like this. Like, I should have fixed this before I started filming. But, um, you know, like, I just feel at Michael's, there's like yarn hanging out of the shelves everywhere. And, um, there's skeins, like, uh, the labels sometimes are ripped off. And, I don't know guys I just I feel like my Michaels is doesn't care much about their yarn section <laughs> and then I do feel like Joanne um the only reason I don't shop there as much they do have great sales and coupons and stuff but um I do feel like their yarn is pricier um and then as far as Walmart goes I did want to bring that up my yarn or my Walmart has a very limited selection of yarn so I don't shop there very often either um, but anyway, those are all the reasons that I love Hobby Lobby. Um, I would love to know what your favorite yarn store is. Of course, there is no right or wrong answer to this. Everybody has their own personal preferences depending on what they enjoy, what types of yarn they enjoy, what kinds of, um, stores they like to go in and how close things are to them. I'm very blessed to have a Hobby Lobby, a Joanne, and a Michaels within 20 minutes of me. They're all kind of in the same general area, just a few minutes apart from each other. So um, I'm very thankful for that because I know that some people have to travel like an hour or so to get to a Hobby Lobby or whatever. So very thankful for that and I really hope you guys enjoyed hearing um, my thoughts on this. I just thought it would be a fun little topic. I did get uh, several rows done. I only had a couple done before I started this video. So now I need, I do 16 rows of this cotton. So I need to count <laughs> and um, I wasn't counting rows while I was talking. So um, I need to count these up and then see if I need to add the scrubology. So I'm going to put that down for now. And um, the Bible verse that I want to share with you guys today is Matthew 11:28, And it says, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And this is Jesus speaking here. And um, it's been a rough day for me, guys. Um, you know, I always want to be real with you all here on my channel, um, and it's been a rough day. My four-year-old is such a sweet boy, um, but he has some little behavior things that we're trying to correct, and it's difficult, you know, because um, he doesn't like that very much, and you know, all of us want to see our kids happy, but we know that doing things that they don't like sometimes is what is best for them. So, um, I just, I've been feeling it today. Um, and um, I think most of you guys that watch my videos are ladies. And so you can relate also to hormones. And so I have all that going on as well. So it's just been a tough day. And, um, but I'm so thankful to have this outlet to be able to talk with you guys um, about things and um, about something I love to help get my mind off of it. And I'm also very thankful that I have a very loving and supportive husband that I can talk to when I'm feeling down. And um, I'm just very, very thankful for that. And But most of all, I'm thankful for the Lord and His Word that no matter what we're going through, we can go to the Word and we can have comfort, correction, um, we can feel God's love, we can be motivated to, you know, start changing things in our lives. We, ju we can just come to the Word for everything, um, come to the Lord. So I'm so thankful for that. I hope that if any of you guys are having a rough day as well, that you know that I'm right there with you and um, that this, I hope this verse gave you some comfort. So anyways, guys, I hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already and like this video. I can't wait to chat with you guys in the comments and be on the lookout for Thursday's video. Um, 
turn on those post notifications so you can get notified when it's uploaded. But I will be sharing with you guys a very exciting finished project. I'm sure most of you all know what it is <laughs> um, if you've been watching my videos for a while. But anyway, guys, um, I think this video is pretty long, so I better go. I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day and may God bless you. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye. Thank you.